What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the next group of people who are going to rule the world. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been doing a lot of work and I've seen something and this is going to fit very much into the long-term view of this video. Right now, there's something that's called YouTube Shorts. And I've been doing a lot of study on YouTube Shorts. And I have seen, there have been people who have built YouTube Short channels, got to a million subscriber in a matter of months. And I've been studying this and been studying this and been studying this, right? And I've noticed something, whenever a YouTube Shorts content creator creates a long form video, it hardly gets any views. It's, you, you really got to look at the content and I've literally seen YouTube channels built on short form content only. They have no long form videos. And I, I'm seeing a bunch of people. There's a girl, her name is Vivacious Honey. She's in the fashion world. Her channel was built on shorts. And every time she puts up a long form video, it just doesn't do, do, do that well. And this may be over the top when I'm getting ready to say, but I feel that the people who dedicate themselves to short form content creation that is outside of entertainment, outside of dancing, is going to have a ramification because a lot of people have found out that short form content doesn't pay as well as long form content. Uh, there are some people out there who are doing short form content who have a million subscribers and I will make more money than they will and my channel is hurt. And what do I mean by hurt? Um, you know, with the revamp and all the changes that I made and everything, I lost a lot of people. And my Hurt channel will make more money than their million subscriber channel. So where am I going with this? Everyone is looking for the shortcut. Everyone is looking for that magical moment where they can go ahead and do something and not work hard. That's now I'm, I'm not saying that because some of the short creators are actually some of them are really brilliant. They work hard and it takes a long time for them to put their short content together. But one of the things that I see consistently, because I'm starting to see more YouTube short generated channels that people will forego more money, forego a better position to get that dopamine hit of putting up a short content video and getting a lot of views. And I, I have an assertion here. I feel that the short form content viewer is a person who's just not interested in long form content. Um, like me, I, I really don't spend a lot of time on TikTok. Um, Every now and then I'll see something on Google and I'll go to TikTok and watch it and I'll leave. I literally will spend maybe three to four minutes on TikTok whenever I go. I don't just sit there and watch short form content, short form content, because from a sociological standpoint, that's actually mentally harmful for you to keep your attention span on short form content moving on next and next and next. And the way that the TikTok, app, the TikTok app is designed is uses gaming theory to keep you engaged and keep you on the platform and keep you watching shorts. But what I'm seeing is, because one of the things, if you, if you notice, I have not, I have no shorts on any of my channels, no shorts whatsoever because I've watched um, tons and tons of videos talking about you, you should use shorts and you will get some of your short viewers to go over to your long form content. I have literally seen person after person 
who tried that tactic, who tried that, tried that strategy, said shorts hurt my channel. I noticed that when I produce shorts, I get a lot of views. And then when I make long form content, my view rate has gone down. Now, where am I going with this? And I, I tell you all that is the people who are going to stick to the hard things. To create long form content is a harder thing consistently to do than to create short form content because I, I think we're in the rah rah era with short. All right. <clears throat> this, we're in the corporate citizen playbook, the steps to building your $250,000 a year business. Now, what we have done is we've gotten into a lot of training, we've gotten into a lot of stuff, and this represents five hours of training. Now, this talks about the hidden company, the understanding of C Corps, as you can see, the S Corp formation and guidance. This is quite long, there's a lot of training there, creating a hidden company for me corporate banking. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot more. There's currently five hours in the corporate citizen playbook. And this weekend I'm going to work really hard. And there should be by the Monday morning or Monday afternoon, we should have 10 hours because I'm going to get into the things that you need to do to set up a company, the things you need to do to form a company. So this is going to this is going to happen i'm going to raise the price of this once i introduce how to make a lot of money with a small youtube channel training which is going to be very long it's probably going to run into july and then the price of this is going to go up and i'm going to have a separate price for the people who want the youtube training just to see what people want but once again if you want to go ahead and get in and also uh, I got to give out this laptop, which isn't here, but I got to go through my uh, student sections and actually set that raffle up. But once again, what's going to happen is the price is going to go up. I've had people, it's like, hold off another month, you know, wait, I'm like, look, I can't wait until you get your money together for me to make moves in my business. I'll be waiting forever. So what's going to happen is May 31st. 12 p.m. the price of this goes up and then June 1st I will introduce the how to start a YouTube training and we're gonna have a lot of fun because this if you want to get in and if you want the YouTube training what you want to do is go ahead and get in to the corporate citizen playbook because everyone that gets in now for this low low price using promo code jump J U M P there's going to be a lot of training and I guarantee you there's going to be people who could have got in and they're going to see all the training, let's say August to September. And they're like, man, I should have got in. I should have got in. And they're going to get in later because each month the price is going to go up and there will be more selections and stuff as more training comes out. So once again, to go ahead and to set yourself up, you want to go ahead and get in as soon as possible because right now, with the money course, with the productivity course, we're, we're at about 14 hours of training that you're already behind. So if you want to go ahead and start catching up, go ahead and get in now. This is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next one. Short form content because people are going crazy over TikTok. People are going crazy here on YouTube. And there's a lot of people who are saying, hey, you should create shorts. I've seen YouTuber, uh, YouTube content trainer after YouTube content trainer talk about you should create shorts because shorts will get your channel a lot of views and get you a lot of subscribers, which are true, which are true. But here's the thing, and this is why there's a certain group of people who are going to rule the world. The people who are going to rule the world are not the people who participate on TikTok and YouTube shorts. The people who rule the world are the people who have created TikTok and the people who have created YouTube. Because one of the things that I'm seeing is, because, you know, with, you know, I, I'll tell you, with my channel reset, the revamp, and the tearing down and the, the changing of name, I drove a lot of people away. I drove a lot of people away. And um, be honest, I was scared. 
I was really, really scared that once I would start selling again, it was just gonna be horrible, horrible. Because once the thing is, once you have developed a pattern of selling, a habit of selling, and then you just stop. I didn't sell anything in January. I didn't sell anything in February. I didn't sell anything in April. I didn't sell anything in March. I sold nothing. And, you know, starting that whole process up again has been not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because let me go ahead and just go ahead and be honest with you guys. Uh, I was thinking I was going to have to spend a year in hell. And essentially, it's been two months. Looks like the channel is going to get close to 100,000 views. In January, I got 30,000 views. So we're starting to right the ship and my sales have been really good. So one of the things that I'm looking at, and I, I, I wanna talk about that process of revamping January, February, March, April, just started again. It's five months of hard work, uh, five months of writing, five months of doing things, five months of testing stuff. Uh, at one point, I didn't know what to do with a monetized channel. I had no clue to what I was going to do with it because I was like, all right, you know who's there. Because essentially, when you have people who are derivatives of your main channel, you have the same audience. So I have a, uh, the audience here, and then I have a similar audience at uh, Mad Money, and I have a similar audience at the Strong Cocaine, which is going to be buck wild. It's going to be buck wild. And, you know, it took me a minute to figure all this stuff out, but I want you to think, and I want you to answer this question. How many of you could go five months without making money? Put that in the comments. How many of you, like, like I, I did have my YouTube, in, my, my damaged YouTube income. Uh, my YouTube income was like, it hadn't been this low since like 2014. And this, this is gonna be the first month that I'm gonna broach 2000, which is really good compared to January, February, March, and April. But I stuck with the plan. Even though the plan was ugly, the plan was dripping with failure, the, I stuck with the plan. And I'm here to tell you that the people who can do the hard work, the people who can generate and go through these changes, the people who can actually level up and stick with something that is hard. Those are the people who are going to rule the world. And, you know, like I said, um, this month has been, it hadn't been this good since November of last year. Now, understand, this isn't, you know, we're not talking about, I've been down in the dumps for two and three and four years. Uh, essentially, I came up with a conclusion that the way that I was doing things was not good for long-term growth. It wasn't good for long-term sales. And it made me readjust and redo everything. And I, I, don't, I don't know, cause I don't watch other people's content in that regard, but a lot of people watch me and they make assumptions without having a firm foundation because like I said, I asked that question and I really want to see in the comments, how many of you could go five months and not make a money, not make any new money? And I used the term new money because I got some old money <laughs> I've been sitting on. I've been able to pay my bills quite easily. Um, because of the money that I, because I'm not foolish with my money. I'm, I don't do crazy, stupid stuff with my money. But if you are a person that fades when it gets difficult, or you're like, I can't hang with it, you're not going to be one of the people ruling the world. It's just not going to happen because I've just looked at what I did. And it, it was kind of crazy because I literally destroyed this YouTube channel. In January, my views were like 30,000 for the whole channel, 30,000. And for Mad Money, the views were like 10,000. And the um, Strong Cocaine, no views because I wasn't posting videos. And 
It took me some time to figure out what I wanted to do with that channel. It took me some time to figure out what I wanted to do with everything. What I wanted to do, the moves that I wanted to make, uh, the things I wanted to do. But through that process, I saw something. During that process, I saw that hard work, diligent, consistent hard work is always rewarded in some fashion. And like I said, um, this morning I woke up to some more good news. Uh, I had a bunch of sales last night that came straight from the YouTube channel. Didn't come from the, well, I didn't send out any emails. I sent out no emails. And when the people sign up, you can see where they came from. They all came from YouTube. So that has been, it's been many months since that's happened. And one of the things that you will have to see, and I, I want to talk to some of you, you're going to have to work harder than you're working. And I know that's not popular and that's not something that a lot of people want to hear, but listen to me, you are going to have to work harder harder than you're currently working to get to that life that you want. Now, here's the thing. You're going to have to work harder, but that's not forever. Um, and this is one of the things that I've been through because like when I revamped and I destroyed everything and I changed everything and I did all these, made all these changes, um, I was looking at a year. I was like, okay, this could be a year of hell. So I had an understanding of how hard things could be. And th this is something that I think is absent from a lot of you. You don't have a clue to how hard things can be because typically things typically take longer than you think they are. And, you know, once again, my situation did not take longer than what I wanted is because one, I've got some good people. I've got some great people who watch the channel, who come to the channel. So thank you. I really appreciate you. And the, the work, the, the work, that's something that I'm known for, for doing the work because I saw someone put out their content creation machine. Um, one of the things that i just have to deal with at this section is I have to put out a lot of content to keep the channels going because, um, once the audience, there's a group of people on the audience that watch every video that I put out. So I want to say thank you to those people. And there's a group of people who are waiting for something topical, sexy, something crazy. And they don't watch most of these videos. Uh, when I first started, I was putting out a lot of business content. Those videos crashed. They crashed. I was like, okay, they ain't going to work. So we got to try something else. And this is more than likely the channel's name is going to change again, but it's not going to be like, I think, I changed the name of the channel like four or five times in a few months. And people are like, good Lord, man, you keep changing the name. What's going on? What's going on? So what I'm trying to tell you is the people who are going to be running the world, the people who are going to make a go of it, the people who are going to be doing things on a larger level are the people who can do the hard things. Now, what is the hard thing? The hard thing is consistently sticking with something and not opting out, not moving on, but sticking with it through the tough parts. Because one of the things that I'm gonna see once I start how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel training is how many people can stick with it because I've been on YouTube since 2009. And you know, I'll share some stuff with you. If I had been smarter and wiser, because one of the things is when I came to YouTube, I had no clue to what I was dealing with. I had no clue. Every time I came up with a new idea, I should start a new channel. And I would have one of those channels with a million subscribers if I had did that. But I didn't do that. I just kept putting all types of different content on this channel, which is a terrible idea, terrible, terrible idea. And I, I've learned some things. And what you're gonna learn and how to build, uh, how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel is the study of YouTube because I've been doing this so long. It's just second nature. I don't really think about it. Like I'll watch a new YouTuber and I'll go through my evaluation process and 
I would just see where they grew. And I can tell you with these YouTubers that I evaluate, I can tell you what video launched their channel, what video changed it. I found a girl today that she was talking about her channel was sucking wind and she started talking about AI, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000. And you know, with AI, why are people all, all on AI? Because of this one line, when you utilize artificial intelligence, you can save a lot of time. So instead of working 40 hours in, you know, in the future, there's going to be artificial intelligent devices. There's going to do so much work. It's going to be ridiculous. It's just going to be ridiculous. And with chat GPT, I've learned some stuff recently. I've learned some stuff with mid journey because, you know, once again, when I went to chat GPT and when I went to mid journey, I had no expectation of immediate success. I knew that I was going to have to learn some stuff. I knew that I was going to have to work on it. I knew that. And so many of you get into this stuff. Like right now I have a video that talks about this in deeper detail, but everyone's running over to Etsy thinking that they can use mid journey, create some digital art, throw it up on Etsy and, you know, it, it just ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen because everyone is looking for the easiest, the simplest, the less time intensive path to their fortune, to making a lot of money. That's what people are looking for. And the people who can evaluate and stay stuck to it. Those are the people who are going to win. Those are the people who are going to make it. Those are the people who are going to blow up. And one of the things that I'm seeing is with YouTube and there's what I call the abandoned YouTube channel, because you'll find some videos, someone hot, then you go look at their video and they haven't posted the video in many months or they haven't posted the video in years. They just walked away from it. And one of the things that you will find out, and this is something that's going to be really, really huge. And I need to say this for the people who are getting into how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. We're going to get into a lot of training, but YouTube has switched up some stuff where YouTube is tremendously rewarding new channels. I've never seen YouTube do this before. I'm seeing people put up their first video and get a hundred thousand views. That has never happened in YouTube. So this is the perfect time to start a brand new channel. And I'm going to tell you my plan and what I plan on doing. Because I'm like I said, I study YouTube all the time. I watch YouTube all the time and I have my current channels and I am going to start some new channels. They're going to be totally different. And it's just a matter of me sequencing myself. I just can't like do all this stuff in one day. It's like, OK, we do this. We do this. We do this like this weekend. Um, I this this weekend is going to be what what's going to be my first power weekend where I'm just going to work on the corporate citizen playbook. It's currently at five hours Monday. It should be at 10 hours. And that's something that I haven't done, but I'm going to stick with it. Cause once again, I'm doing a lot of stuff like with uh, that strong cocaine, all of my thumbnails I make with mid journey because I came up with a concept I came up with a theme and I, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get better and better at mid journey much, much better because I'm using it. I'm doing certain things and my new channels are going to be really, really a little different. And no, I cannot tell the people at this channel because what I will do and th this is the funniest thing. And I, I just don't understand this. I, and I purposely do not watch channels of people I don't like. I don't like them. I don't like what they put out. I don't watch them. I have no clue to what these people are doing because I am not watching their content. But for some reason, there are people who hate me. And if I go ahead and say, hey, guys, I started a new channel. Guess who would be the first one to sign for the new channel? The people who hate me. I, I just don't get it. I just simply don't get it. So I already know that I will have to start a new YouTube channel from scratch without letting people know because of what I've seen with this new feature in YouTube. I've seen it multiple times. This is not um, something random. I've seen literally 
maybe 70, 80 channels just blow up. And I'm sitting there like, okay, YouTube's doing something different. And this is something that we're gonna talk about in the how to do YouTube, how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. And you know, th this is one of the things because I know the numbers, the Roberto Blake, he actually said this on the podcast, 90% of YouTubers never get to 10,000 subscribers. 90%. So there's a certain talent to creating YouTube videos. And if you don't have that talent, you're just not gonna do well on YouTube. And this is one of the things that's gonna be in the training because hear me and hear me well. You've got to study YouTube to be successful on YouTube. Why? YouTube is consistently changing. I can recall there used to be, YouTube used to have a feature where you could reply to a video with a video, that's gone. I mean, it is always changing. And if you're not studying it, you're not aware of what's changing, what's not, what's happening, you just, it's gonna be a struggle for you. It's gonna be a struggle for you. And uh, I was talking to another YouTuber and you know, it was, it was, it was a good conversation because when you're talking to regular people who don't do YouTube, you just sound like a weirdo because they don't understand what you're going through. And you know, he's got a problem with editors. And I was like, okay, what you gotta find is an editor who does nothing but editing it full time. And then, you know, we, you know we, we can really help each other. We can really, really help each other. And you know, there's so many things that's gonna be in this, how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. And with the reset of me, uh, resetting my business, I, I had an issue. And th this is one of the things that has happened is I've gotten smarter and smarter and smarter. I had an issue with Stripe. Now, if you don't do online courses or you don't have anything affiliated with Stripe, you, you, you may not be aware of this, but Stripe can change their terms of services on you just like that. And I had one account and for some reason, Stripe was just like, hey, we cannot support this content. And I was like, I've seen that email before. I'm like, oh God. And due to the platform I'm using, there was a solution. There was an immediate solution because um, one of the things that happens with your Stripe account is you want to have, you know, and this was an older Stripe account. It wasn't my oldest Stripe account. And then I created another Stripe account that I'm not using. So we will see, because in the future there will be more stuff that's going to happen. But that problem last time that happened with disruptive mail. I had to, I had to shut it down. I had to shut it down because I couldn't accept payments. And I was just sitting there like, what, what the, so once again, if you stick with it, you do the things you need to do and you build it out correctly and you build it up correctly, you're going to be able to do some amazing things with your procedures on doing stuff. Cause I'm just seeing it. Um, I'm just seeing it like this guy that I met, who's a YouTuber, he works, he works a lot. He works a lot. And I'm going to ask this next time I meet him, I'll sit down and it's like, Hey, just evaluate how many hours you, you put in. And I can already tell you dude's working like 70, 80 hours a week. And that's what it's going to take for you to get into this new eclipse. And you know, it, it's really interesting because um, this is something that's going like the, the training I'm going to do in the corporate citizen this weekend, is going to be talking about how to validate your business ideal and branding and some other stuff. And so it's going to be a lot of things in there that you need to do with your business, because this is one of the things that I had several different brands. I had the corporate citizen brand. I had the hustlers Kung Fu brand. And there are people who love that name, Hustlers Kung Fu. They love that name. They want me to bring it back. I'm not bringing it back, but I eat fire. That's going to be my new brand and I'm building it out. And once again, it's going to be step by step by step. It's all of this is not going to happen just like that. No, uh, I eat fire.com is the training site and I'm going to build it out very carefully. I'm not going to overload it. I'm not going to put a bunch of useless stuff there because this, once again, creating online courses and I, I love this people. Oh, well, you know, that seems to be the money to create an online course. I should go ahead and create a course. 
you know what? Every time I see someone say something like that in the comment, and it's been a while since, because I haven't been selling anything. I was like, please do go ahead and set up a course and let's see how much you sell. Cause see, just like there's a talent to creating a YouTube channel, there's a talent to creating an online course that sells. I mean, there, there's so many people. It's just like, I got to create an online course. I'm gonna make all this money. I am a member of not one, not two, not three, but four groups of people. You Facebook groups where people are trying to sell online courses and are struggling every day. Uh, I can tell you what I made this month. Many of those online courses in those groups who are struggling would love to have that per year, not just a month. That would be great for them to do that in a year. So once again, it's about sticking to it, working hard, doing the things that you need to do to set yourself up to win. And I, I like, once again, I, I just have a feeling, and this is so strange, but I, I just have this feeling that I'm going to get a great group of students with the new rollout, with the new plan, and it's just gonna be fantastic. And it's just gonna be wonderful. Also, I need to give that computer away. So I'm gonna work on that this weekend. And I got some other stuff that I plan on working this weekend. Because one of the things that's getting ready to happen is, you know, we're on the, the, the cusp of summer, right? I am not worried about summer. I am worried about winter. And to prepare myself and to be in the proper situation for winter, I got to do this work now. Um, I'm thinking about doing a, a podcast. There's so many things I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't fully developed the thing out yet, but I'm working on it. But if you want to be one of the people who rules the world, one of the people who's making moves, one of the people who can pretty much run their own day consistently, because uh, I saw a lot of people that were talking about who were doing low content books and stuff, and they got to a point where they could quit their job. Now they're back at their job because that, that wave, because YouTube spiked up, OnlyFans spiked up, everything spiked up during the pandemic because a lot of people were at home, had a lot of free time, and they were delving into it, and all that stuff just collapsed. Just collapsed. And one of the things that you're going to see as we get into this new training because AI, this is one of the reasons I stick with ChatGPT. This is one of the reasons I stick with MidJourney. This is one of the reasons I'm doing stuff in Dali because your prompt is everything. And the more precise and the more articulate your prompt is, the better the results that you get out of everything, the better results you get out of ChatGPT, the better results you get out of MidJourney, the better results you get out of Galley, the better results you get out of there, there's so many new AI platforms popping up and it, this is very much like early cryptocurrency. And if you are not delving into AI, you're not using AI, you're not creating stuff, um, you're going to regret it three years in the future. You're going to simply regret it because this is the time to get in. This is the time to get in because I've been challenging mid journey and I found some, some hard stops where they just went like, we can't do that image. I'm just sitting there like, what? She's not naked. She's got a bikini on. And th th this is one of the things you, you got to do the work. You got to strap into the seat and you've got to position yourself to win. You got to position yourself to win because uh, there are so many things that are getting ready to happen. And this is something else, too, that I've seen. And this is with YouTube. There's a lot of big million plus subscriber YouTubers that when they put up videos, they don't really get that many views because once again, YouTube is consistently changing. And if you do not make the changes along with YouTube, you're just not going to get that many views. It's just, just the way it is. So yeah, the people are going to be tough. They're going to be hardy. They're going to be ferocious. They're going to be hardworking. That's going to be a big, big part of it. They're going to be very, very much so in the lane of hard working. And if you want to be one of the people who rules the world, because here's the thing, when I say rule the world, you want to rule your world. And if you're not doing these things, you're not going to rule your world. 
because uh, I have to say some other stuff because there's a lot of really young people who are extremely hardworking and they show up and they do their thing every day. And I just have to take my hat off to those people because they're working really, really hard. And there's a group of people who think they're working hard because they go to work and they work a 40 hour week. <laughs> that ain't it. That, that is not it. Um, as someone who's worked, let's see, 12 hours a day times five is 60, then 12 hours, 72. As someone who routinely for many years worked 80 something hour weeks, you working 40, you ain't busting the grape. You're just not busting the grape. But yeah, we're getting ready to introduce this new contingency. The real people who run the world, the people who make the changes. Because, you know, a lot of people are talking about recessions and stuff. And for a long time, I was on the recession talk and everything. I'm not worried about a recession. I'm worried about the new progression, the new tools, the new things that are coming out. And that's where my focus is going to be on. I know a lot of you are just kind of upset because I changed the content. Grow up, get over it because it ain't coming back because I, the things I have seen, I, the things I have seen, the literal disappearance of the crazy comments. Uh, this week, I didn't have one, not one. I had a lot of really good comments. I had positive comments. I had well thought out comments. So as we move on with this revamp and we push the craziness away and we welcome the smart, nerdy, intellectual people. This thing is just gonna get better and better and better. So, it is May 26th. And we're, like I said, this is gonna be a power weekend and we're gonna get a lot of stuff done. So if you're not into the Corporate Citizen Playbook, you need to get into it where I will teach you how to build a holding company, teach you how to build an operating company, teach you how to set up your corporate banking, teach you how to set up your operating company, teach you how to start your business, teach you how to validate your ideal, and then teach you where you should be marketing and how to market because this is gonna be a strong component in the how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. And I'm once again, I'm doing things. I'm not out here just playing around. I'm actually doing this stuff in real life. And one of the things that you will notice is now I have commercials in my YouTube videos. Uh, virtually, no one does that. They, you know, because I'm working on something and this is gonna be in the how to market course that's coming a little later because uh, I, had a, I had a brainstorm that I will share with my students because I was like, because essentially YouTube has taken away the ability for you to select the YouTube channels you want to run your ads on. And I was like, man, but now if you're going to come up with a stronger position, because here's the thing, it doesn't take that many channels to really pop off your content. I mean, you can have a deal with 10 channels, maybe 20 who are consistently running your ads and you can just pay them. And I already know, because like I said, as I do this, because once again, I'm going to do this so you can have real relevant information to help you with your business. So what you want to do is go ahead and get in the corporate citizen playbook today, because uh, once again, and some people have already said, just hold off raising the price of the month. Um, no, that's not going to happen because on May 31st, 12, well, June 1st at 12, something in the morning, I'm going to switch up the price. And then on June 1st, I'm going to introduce the how to make money with a small YouTube training because that's something I have been thinking about for weeks. So if you want to be part of that, go below, get into the corporate citizen playbook. Go ahead and get into that because I got a lot of stuff that I'm going to get into, a lot of things I'm going to talk about, a lot of things I'm going to do. So be aware that we are moving on whether you're ready or not. The train is not going to wait for the late passengers. Sorry. My name is Glennie Cameron. I will see you guys in the next one.